Kiran Kumar Reddy has just submitted his resignation to the governor. I have with me, Mr. Reddy, uh, your critics say you should have resigned much earlier. Even Mr. Chidambaram has said that perhaps the Congress should have uh, taken action against you much earlier. No, that's, see, the day I became Chief Minister, I was very clear, I am an integrationist. At any cost, I am for an United State. Because division of the state is going to have long-ranging effect, uh, permanent uh, disorder for the Telugu people. It's going to be disadvantages to the youngsters. And uh, both regions, Telangana region and Simandra region, is going to suffer. And the people are going to suffer. They, it is very disadvantageous to divide the state after being together for 58 years. Are you saying at this stage that you're conceding defeat, there is no more battle to be fought, or are there legal options even now open before you? No, all options will be looked at. That's a different issue. Why I am against the particular decision is, it is g going to be against the interest of people of the whole state. It is going to affect uh, the irrigation, the farmers, the power sector, the education, uh, the students, the health sector, the patients, and uh, the employment, which is totally Hyderabad-centric. And it is going to affect the future of the youngsters who think Hyderabad is their destination. And it is a dream city for them for employment. A lot of anger against the Congress party for having done this? Yes, there is a lot of anger. That is the reason even I have resigned, because of the decision. It is a bad decision and uh, it is against the interest of the people and all political parties unfortunately have linked up the state division with their future but they have not kept the people's future in mind and the state's future in mind. That is very, very unfortunate. The ruling party, the opposition parties, I do not want to name their political interests have been taken, uh, they are looking at, not the people's interest. Your own uh, uh, party colleagues in the Simandra region, many of them were in fact pushing you to step out of the party much earlier and start a political outfit perhaps so that you can espouse the cause of the people. No, no, I am very clear that uh, once the resolution comes to the assembly, we will defeat it. And that is the will of the people. That is another undemocratic uh, act which uh, the parliament has done is taking a resolution which has been defeated in the assembly. If you do not respect in a federal system the will of the people from the assembly, from the council, and you want to put it in parliament, how, why should anyone respect the parliament's decision? Once the people in the state do not want a state, and they want united, that is what is reflected in the Even assembly. the blackout, do you believe, is a political conspiracy? It's very unfortunate, not only the blackout, the s suspension of the MLAs, uh, the MPs, and uh, not allowing them to be a part of the discussion of division of the state, not letting out what is happening in the House to go out, and uh, keeping a secrecy of when they are going to do Everything looks as though uh, the, uh, every step th there seems to be a criminal uh, conspiracy to divide the state, but not for the benefit of the people. It is not done in a consensus with, with the people of the state, and it is against the interest of Telugu people. That is the reason if I... If you had resigned much earlier, could you have stopped this? Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy says that you could have created a constitutional crisis at that time, and perhaps you would have been able to stop the bifurcation of the state. No, I don't want to answer such uh, questions for the simple re reason. Being the chief minister of the state, I can oppose it, I have opposed it, I have sent it back from the assembly, rejecting it. If I had resigned, there is no question of sending it back. These people who have got into an alliance and these people who have got uh, trying to do politics with the people of Telugu people will very soon realize that Telugu people are intelligent enough and they will realize who has worked for them or who has not worked for them. Many of your colleagues are career politicians. Do they have no options? But everybody sees the Simandra Congress perhaps as a sinking ship. Are they going to be flying elsewhere? And are you starting your own political outfit? No, no, I have been very clear once I have been saying that the unity of the state is paramount for me. 
the future of the telugu people is paramount for me my future or my political career is not important for me i have been saying that for a very long time but even in order to protect the interests of the people you would need to take on a political role no what i have to do what my colleagues have to do it is for us to decide we will decide when the time comes but our fight till now till i have resigned is for the people of the state to keep it united it is for their future it is only when the state is united all the people from all regions are going to benefit i believe in that and it is the telugu pride which they have damaged now the way they have done it is absolutely not acceptable in a democratic country we call ourselves the biggest democracy in the world is it the way Mr. is it the way to do such things do they have uh, any person who lets down the people's uh, 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 what you call in a democracy who lets down the values so badly i don't think they should continue in their seat after letting down the people of this country in a sense i can see that it's a very heartfelt emotion from your side but the calculations of the congress as is being spoken about do you actually believe that they are going to make those gains in telangana now see linking up the state uh, bifurcation with political bifurcation is itself wrong political interest and political uh, benefit is not the way to look at bifurcating a state and they are forgetting this is a state congress party has always looked upon the gandhi family and congress party has always been saved by andhra pradesh let it be in 76 77 let it be now last two governments were formed because of andhra pradesh and they have give, uh, given a death blow to the uh, telugu people i don't think they will ever uh, uh, forget this and this is not acceptable to the telugu people of this state if bifurcation is inevitable at this stage if it looks like that what is the next challenge are we going to look at new capitals as someone who is concerned about the people of simandra as well what what do you think should should this 10 year period be allowed to happen should there be a new capital formed which part of andhra pradesh all those are big uh, questions now no i am an ordinary person now like any other citizen i will also think what has to be done what happens to the questions that you are talking about in simandra do you really believe that in uh, hyderabad and elsewhere the people of the two regions can coexist no no see coexistence is not the issue here the perennial problems which are going to come in river water sharing power sharing in education in employment in the government employment for pensioners they are going to become uh, very difficult when it becomes two states as mrs indira gandhi said part, uh, when you are dividing a state the actual problem starts once you start dividing not before that you, we have to be neighbors but still the problem is Uh, by 100 times more when you divide a state than when it is united and f- after 58 years of being united there are so many issues which cannot be separated our dams are together our uh, irrigation projects our power projects are together you how after the cwc change? decision you had offered to resign or rather you said you wanted to go and mrs uh, gandhi prevailed on you not to should you have pushed at that stage so that, that is not the issue see even today when i am resigning with uh, i am not resigning out of anger or out of emotion i am resigning for the simple reason i do not want to be a part of such a bad decision which is going to be determined uh, detrimental to the future of the telugu people i do not want to be a part of it i wa- i have tried my best to prevent it i am sorry i couldn't prevent it that is what i tell the telugu people and i have got an opportunity because of congress party but in spite of that in spite of my loyalty to the party i am so much against this decision because the future of the telugu people is not there in the division you resigned from the chief minister's post your mla post as well as the party but not many of your cabinet colleagues or mlas have done no they will take their own decision what is the road ahead for kiran kumar reddy i am an ordinary citizen i can think in any way i want i can do whatever i want so i have always uh, kept on saying that my future is not important i am an individual i am the 16th chief minister of the state not because of congress party i have become 
but the future of the telugu people this is a irreversible decision where the people are going to be affected in every area that is what is hurting me and me as chief minister uh, this division taking place that is hurting me more and being a person who is born here that is the reason i am against this decision it is going to be uh, the people have lost out in this process i don't for, know for years to come is congress going to pay a price for this in the simantra region see don't that is the biggest mistake all of us are doing trying to link up political uh, benefits to the division of the but state but there are emotions linked to this no there are no emotions linked to this political decisions should not be linked with state division if state division is uh, required it has to be done in a scientific way in a way which it will benefit all all people and uh, both the sides should be happy about it but this i am sure in the days to come you will realize not very long uh, that uh, whatever i have said will come true on the ground and you will see that people are going to be affected and will be totally against what is happening now your uh, colleague mr lagda party said he is taking political sanyas is that the only option for simandra politicians now we are not talking about a new political outfit uh, that's politics is not uh, uh, everything see we are individuals we have to pass on but the state is power, permanent the people of the state is permanent the future of them is permanent the opportunities they have is permanent that is what we are damaging that is what i am against that is the exactly why i felt so much hurt when the values and the systems we followed in the parliament uh, are are being floated are being uh, what do you call uh, ridicule ridiculed um, to to the public that is what is hurting us you feel terribly let down by your what was your party leadership and that they didn't bother to listen to any of your voices not only our voices it is the people's voice we are trying to reflect see but the parliament all the parties who are there are responsible for what has happened it is very unfortunate the dignity of the parliament the confidence of the people which is the supposed to be the temple of democracy if this is the way they want to behave i, I am sorry this is not acceptable to me personally how was your reaction because at the end of everything you kept saying no this may not happen this may not happen i'm going to try and stop this how do you personally react i'm not asking as someone who was the chief minister but as someone who belongs to andhra pradesh no see i strongly believe about the disadvantages the people are going to have that is the reason i am saying i am against it i am against it today i was against it yesterday tomorrow also i will be against this decision has this decision broken your heart in a sense it's, it's not the question of heart it is the question of the future of the telugu people see my decision my feelings are not what is important to me i am an individual i am a temporary person but the future of the telugu people is what is going to be affected and it is irreversible decisions these are these cannot be done and uh, andhra pradesh was not formed just like that it was formed by the sacrifice for uh, uh, thousands of people and uh, sacrifice for nearly 50 years and we have stayed together for 58 years you want to uh, break the fabric of the state and this is going to it's not going to be easy not only in the state it is going to be a problem for the country in the future please mark my word thank you so much so mr kiran kumar already speaking more like a statesman like than like a politician not certainly revealing what his political plans for the future may be right now only saying that he is retiring hurt in a sense